Dr. Jane Morgan joins us now here in Atlanta. She's the executive director of Piedmont Healthcare's Coronavirus Task Force. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Nice to be here today. Uh, so we just heard the U.S. president there, and he referenced the fact that over the last week there has been a record number of people get the shot here in the U.S. Six million people, in, six million shots in seven days, he said. That's the highest in a month and a half. What does today's uh, FDA approval mean for the, for the Pfizer vaccine and those who may still be hesitant to get a shot? You know, I certainly think as we look at the Kaiser Family Foundation data where uh, three out of 10 of these fence sitters are expected to come down from that fence. Now that we have full FDA approval, they are awaiting something that provides additional confidence um, and empowerment in the system. And so I don't think that it will move the needle a large amount, but certainly there will be some percentage of those fence sitters that come off the fence. It certainly empowers corporations, organizations, uh, federal uh, establishments, to begin to mandate this vaccine with confidence and therefore we also have a greater impact and a greater reach uh, to our citizenry to get vaccinated via our corporate responsibility as well. Yeah, Dr. Morgan, I wanted to ask you about that because we did hear the US president encouraging companies to ensure that their employees are vaccinated. We have seen more and more companies here in the US as well as organizations around the world mandating vaccines. Uh, obviously here at CNN, it's mandated Facebook, Google, Twitter, Morgan Stanley. Do you think we're likely to see more companies, more organizations mandate it now that we have this full approval from the FDA? You know, absolutely. I think we're going to increasingly see more and more and more companies move to provide an absolutely safe environment, as safe as possible for all of their employees to return to work and feel comfortable that they can come to work and not bring anything home, especially to their children who are under 12 years of age. This full FDA approval is the same as all of the other prescribed medications in your medicine cabinet. This is exactly the same with this FDA approval, and that provides confidence to quite a few people. I think we will see an uptick uh, in vaccines, but I think we also will see this being led by corporations, uh, federal agencies, and organizations who began to make it a requirement as a term of your employment. And now today's approval was for vaccinations for people over the age of 16. Currently here in the US, emergency use is available for anyone as young as 12, as far as I, I understand it. How long do you think it will be until we see full approval for children? So the children was, uh, the children dossier was submitted in May. And so it's about four to five months behind, or, or I, I hate to use the word behind, but um, on a different timeline than the adult uh, um, submission. And so I think we should expect perhaps November or December. Certainly what we're seeing with the FDA is this all hands on deck and they are understanding the urgency and the importance of getting this done and engendering confidence of the American citizens. So I think we should expect to see that in November and December. Those trials, um, as well as the, the trials of children as well for Moderna and Pfizer, the FDA did ask them to expand some of their enrollment to make it a bit more robust so they could look at more data. And so I still think, however, we will be on a timeline of November and December. But don't all forget, right. still available under emergency use authorization for all ages 12 and older. And we still should absolutely move forward with getting these vaccines. We should have a lot of confidence in the safety, the efficacy, and the review process of these vaccines. Exactly. And as the U.S. president again reiterated, this is a pandemic of the unvaccinated, certainly in countries where the vaccine is widely available. Dr. Jane Morgan, good to have you with us. Thanks so much for your time today. Thank you very much.